A'udzu billahi minasy syaithanir rajim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan selamat sejahtera. Di sini saya Muhammad Arif bin Zaini aka Johnny Banger 45 ingin mengucapkan selamat hari raya Aidilfitri Maha Zain dan Bante. Raya begitulah raya apa ucapan raya saya pada hari ini. Semoga raya pada tahun ini adalah lebih bermakna daripada tahun lepas. <coughs> Di sini kita sepatutnya Okay lah. Enough with the speech. Okay, enough with the speech. Let us start the video. Our usual video. Okay. Thank you for this short message that sponsored by myself. And thank you for watching. <laughs> Bonjour watcher, this is Johnny Banger 45. We are back to play some more Sandra Kagura Bus. I cannot wait to finish this game because I'm going to proceed with a sequel one. Yeah, I cannot wait, guys. I cannot wait. The sequel is more beautiful. Yes, more beautiful. Uh, why do I? Why am I doing? Yeah, I should change character. This girl is the legendary girl. It's like Omura Chan, right? This girl. Yeah. Wait, whatever. Next chapter, what's this? Defeat Haruka. Wow. This is a mission for Homura. Yes. Is there any story? Homura chan, Hibari ga motte kita Hanzo no chou hiden ninpo shou wa? Are nara, Dogen ga motte itta. Hebi jo no hombu de hokan suru rashi. ひばりの手柄よね。さ、ひばりと一緒にスイーツでも食べに行こうかしら。おい、ハルカ、今はそんな時か。超秘伝忍法書を取り戻しに半蔵の連中が攻めてくるとは思わないのか。大丈夫、
I look around at the, the others, but they look away. Dojo's expressions grow several as he realizes that no answers are coming. Through every job, investors are many and very. Most of the money comes from big business. When they need to resolve business matters, they are exactly above board. They often make use of heavy jaws, alumni to handle it behind the scenes. On rare occasions, Dojin himself will work with the evil shinobi in training. He's actually put enough money into the schools to compare to the big corporations, except it apparently all from his personal finances. Finances. Who is he? And what is he planning? He has an uncomfortable presence, but he is a valuable sponsor, so there is no room to complain. What? Haruka, Honto na ruka. Hey, is that Yomi Chan? Since no one else is answering, he picks me. Mireba wakarito shika. Kotai yo ga arimasen. The team was split into two groups in the ninja room. Wow. <laughs> One group consists of myself, Hibari and Yomi. Oh, the other is Homura Hikage and Mirai. Wow. One schools of thought that values friendship in spite of being shinobi. One schools of thought that prizes the acquisitions of power overall else. At some point, we will split right down the middle. And that's when... Master Shizune stands between the two groups, right face unfolded. I don't think she is particularly thrilled to have to mediate this disagreement. My heart, a kiss. I never thought something like this might happen among my friends, my housemates. Shikotoがない。ならばグループ同士で対抗戦というのはどうだ。そして勝った側に負けた側が従えばいい。ああ、see、behind that. Uh, Hikage chan, she just goes right here. Momona glides at Dojin's proposal. How small minded you are, Momona chan. Newbie. <laughs> the moment Hibari begins to speak, Mirai stares at her. でも。ああ、レスキュー。対抗戦。望むとこだよ。私があんたを切った切ったにしてやる。どうじ、ワッチスでアーギュメントスウェイ、キンアイ。マスター、シズネギスエディスポイントサイト。ハルカ、どうする
We live in a generally stately mansion and all of my friends at schools were green with envy. But no outside observer would be envious if, it, if they could see what I saw. My parents were human garbage. My mother's whole identity revolved around talking on me. Anytime I anything I wanted was bought for me. I was trained almost nonstop and anywhere I went she came along as well. She has a particular morbid fascination with western style clothes. She is by there by the truck loads and dresses me out like her own little living doll. And that's why Haruka's dressed like a doll. We had a huge dressing room that was as far as I, I was concerned, a torture chamber. Mother will always dress me and say, Kawaii or Izukushi. It was like being under her spell where I couldn't refuse her action. Father, on the other hand, was rarely at home. I knew he was having a fest even though I was just a child. Because of that, mother directed all of her feelings at me. In other words, you might say that my father is the one who drove my mother crazy. Father was a world renowned physician. But the fact is, he's financially covered up a shocking amount of malpractice on his part. The main matters was the money he used was from multiple tax evasion. So, yes, I think human, gar human garbage is an accurate description. I could only tolerate so much from them. It was a go. It was around middle school when my ego finally exploded. It was late one night when both of them were actually home. Somehow I found myself standing on the front of the house holding a lighter and a can of kero kerosene. I'm going to burn it all and end this. Once it's all over, I can be free. Calmly and unaffected, I began pouring the kerosene on the doorsteps. And that's how you become evil, Haruka-san. I flicked the lighter when it happened. The lighter in my hand disappeared. I turned around in the confusion to see a woman in a red parka standing there. She held my lighter in her hand. When had, when had she managed to take it? Is this, isn't it? What a soundtrack! I love it! She walked past me, her long hair fluttered in the wind. It was all I could do just to follow her in silence. When we approached the park, she tossed the lighter back to me. I managed to take, catch the lighter in my hand. Oh. A teacher. I was somehow a little disappointed. Teachers don't get involved in household problems. Outside of television, they are good for nothing other than a lot of meaningless babble. She looks at me coldly. That was a look you get from just any teacher. やっぱり家を燃やすか。え両親を殺して嫌な家を燃やせば、お前の心は救われるのか? Her words caught me off guard. Killing my parents, burning down my house would make me feel any better. Even if my parents were to vanish, it would break the chain clinging into my heart. All I'd be left with would be the guilt. I'd be in worse shape than ever. But... What was I was I was supposed to do? How else I was I was I going to get away? After a possible consideration, there was only one possible outcome, miserable as it was. I see, it's possible. I can't escape. Not from my parents. Not from that house. Nothing I did would get me out of that hell. I realized I've been crying. Genuinely sucking myself in my tears. After a while I managed to stop crying messages and I suddenly held out a handkerchief. <laughs> I couldn't do anything but take the handkerchief and stare at her in naked confusion. A few months later, my father turned his head to the police, confessing both his tax evasions and medical malpractices. Master Shizune had taught me the art of puppet mastery and I had manipulated him into his actions. He lost most of his fortune and his mistress soon followed. I wasn't really sure if I should attempt to fix my relationship with my mother. I gave her a chance to start things over. No matter how low some, they were my parents after all. Yes, agree. I decided to enroll in clandestine Heavy Joy Academy. Obviously, my parents couldn't know and apparently I decided to leave the house. Getting to Heavy Joy was easy. Since I had already learned the rather difficult arts of mastery puppet, I was already advanced for a new student. This I owed to Massachusetts in a rigorous coaching. 
thanks to her, my heart was free and I was able to walk ahead on my new path. I'm truly grateful to her. Master Shizune is my mentor. Master Shizune stands in the ninja room awaiting my response. ホムラちゃんたちを操れたとしてもそれで解決だとは思いませんしどうしてそれは対抗戦で戦えばはっきりすると思いますマウスツイスターエッマイワーズシーズウェアズコールスマイルジャスライドワンシーフラッシュアミ
仲間が大事とかよくわからんのや仲間に比べれば強さの方がわかりやすいそれでホムラさんの方におるってわけやなるほどわかりました大した理由はないのですねただな強さには数も入ると思うんやこの勝負わしの勝負隊も参加させてもらうで別に構いません相手が何人来ようとこの勝負負けるわけにはいきませんわたくしの勝ちですヨミさん驚いたで普段より強いやないか日陰さん手を抜いていましたね全力の日陰さんと戦ったら私も無事では済まないはずですどうしてですかどうして手を抜いたのですか仲間を大事にできんやつより仲間を大事にできるやつが勝った方がいいと思ったんやそんなこと考えとったらちょっと隙ができてしまったっちゅうわけや日陰さんいずれにしてもヨミさんの勝ちは勝ちや日陰さん私にはあなたが感情がないとは思えませんそうかそう言ってくれるとなんか嬉しい気もすんな決めましたわ今回にすいませんはい。